while since I've been here. And uh, maybe a month or two ago. And so here I am again. Just a quick morning session here. See what I can get. I don't see anyone else. I don't know if it's Richard I think. My eyes are deceiving me, but there's somebody down there. I'm gonna have a few casts here first, though, and see. What is lovely and clean for a chain. East of Lone, should be at South Pier today. Fishing with the bronze back again, starting with the bronze back. 3,5 in, 3,5 ounce BKK silent chaser jig in. It's 10, no, this is 15 pound slick braid. It's 15 pound. Um, and a 15 pound LB fluorocarbon leader. Recon, eight foot six inshore spinning rod, and one of my favorite reels. Still love these things. ITX. I'm sure there's got to be snook around nowadays because the guys are getting them all down the coast. Now they'll be in the harbour. Not quite the right. They like it when it's full tight pulling out. That's when they like it. But I'm hoping it's kingies. But just like yesterday, there is absolutely zero fishes on the edges. So I don't know what it is. There's, there's nothing. There's normally hundreds of fish along the edges. And there's nothing around. You can see one little damsel thing. Let me go further down. I switched up now to the 15 gram slow jig. This is the FST cage slow jigs. Um, I said these are beautiful little things. I've caught a lot of fish on these. They've got an excellent action. Uh, I'm going to try the leaf jig after this. I'm going to give that. It's got a very distinct glow on the back. Incredibly sharp hooks. And, and, and they are, you know, they, they're solid hooks for a little slow jig, a, a little micro jig. That's the ideal thing. So let's see. I definitely had one pick up there, which at first I thought might have been a walla walla, but a, I think it was actually a, yeah, I think it was actually a cob because there's only one, there were two di distinct drag marks. Um, across the back. Looks like a snapper salmon. So I'm just hoping that they might be on the on the bottom yeah. I'll try that slow jig a few times. I'm gonna check the tides. I don't know what tide the time the tide will be changing. Slow jigging time. Check that it gets to the bottom. Whip it up. Whip it up. One, two, three whips. And get back down again. Of 
quick little shakes. Give it slack line and it falls, that way it flutters down again. And remember there's a lot of rock here, so you've only got a short space to, to work it. There we go, something hit me. What was that? And I think I'm at the rocks now. Now I'm on. I'm on. What have we got here? Oh, that's the first cast of this low jig. And this is a decent little fish. I don't think it's a big fish. Well, it's playing big now. Oh, it's getting big. Bigger. FSTK jigs are back in stock. That's a cobby. Thought that what it was that hit me. Last one. Where am I gonna put him? And I forgot to bring my. How's that? A little jig in his mouth. How's that? Well, that's the first cast for the slow jig. If I find a place where I can get him back safely. Unfortunately, you're going for a bit of a flight. But good landing, well done. Here we go. First cast, a little slow jig. FSTK, look for them. Bull King is written on the package. Bull King. Um, but the, look at that. What a beautiful little slow jig, and it operates. I thought that what it was there, and I thought I'd just change it up and see what I could do. I'm gonna clean my hands and get back out there. All right, here we go. Cast number two with the slow jig. Number one, there's 15 grams. Cast a mile. You gotta do about a 40 second countdown to get it to the bottom. Give it a bit of slack so that it, it falls naturally. Falling very quickly, that one. I say I'm around 13 seconds. I'd have to go and get the bigger rod and get the bigger slow jigs. Maybe I'll catch a, a giant cobia. They are around. I saw them yesterday at Sheffield Beach. Big ones, I only caught the small ones. I was throwing smaller stuff. Well, I have no idea. I normally do a countdown, but I didn't do it that time. So I'm hoping I'm on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Nah, this is the rock. This is the log I found. Nah, well that's the end of my slow jig, unfortunately. So I was worried about, I know there's a big log down there. Please come out, don't break. No, nah. it broke. Ah. No man, no man, what else have I got to fish with? Right, I'm having serious problems with the current, the current is pulling the, the lures into the bricks here. So I'm losing a lot of stuff, I've lost two jiggets and one slow jig already. But here we go, this is my favourite cob one, this orange, um, it's a leaf jig, also you see bulking. Um, this thing I've already caught a lot of cob on this exact same one 
um, in the harbour. Um, so I'm going to give it a try and I hope I don't lose it. Uh, 25 grams should cost quite nicely. And as I say, today has just been current is just wrong at the moment. a lot of current now from this boats as well normally what happens is the boats stir the, the mud up and that does get the fish to eat a bit and so let's hope that's the case today I just don't want to lose another one of these things 10 minutes left Leaf jigs are, are incredible jigs. They they got so much flutter. You hardly have to do any work on them, especially off shore on the boat. And you'll feel that re resistance when you when you retrieve as well. Um, probably the nicest jigs to use. But I think I'm close to the rocks now, so I need to get this out of here. Go a little bit further down. Love fishing slow jigs, it's just that, yeah, it's not the best place for them. Um, best place is sort of on the beach areas and that, that areas where you know there's not a lot of rock in that because these things are rock magnets. Oh, yeah, this is this is normally the good spot for cob. There we are over here. I'd like to get a nice eight to ten kilo cob. That will be that will make my morning. That's a better cost. Got smashed here again. I'm slow jigs, but just one hit and then let it go, man. There we go again, man. Come on! What is going on? This definitely seems to be some fish around here. get back out there again. I decided just to have one last cast because I found a jig head and I don't know if it's a wally or what it is. It might be a wally. It doesn't seem to be a wally because it's fighting like crazy. It is, it's a big wally. Ugh. Uh, it's a cobby. Not a cobby. And come out. Where are you? Yeah, man. Thank you, Lord. How am I going to get this up? Nice cob. Bone come off. Let's get you up there and get a picture. Mm. 
Nice one. How's that? Another good fish. See, I've hooked him before. He's got hooks in him. Get some pictures of him. Please just keep still. Let's see. Release my bail. In case he does jump. That's a good sauce fish. <laughs> 